Please welcome Tony Hale. Lady. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you. Fan. Oh, ditto. And I love doing that bit with you and Tim Wasn't Kane in the cold open. You yes. look so natural behind <laughs> Tim Kane there. You Enjoy. really, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Is there anything that you think he or Hillary Clinton could learn from watching Veep? Uh, don't watch it. <laughs> no, no modeling there. No. No, there's not good models of politics on my show. Mm -hmm. Funny, but oh, like, not, funny. not not Do a good model. You think of it as a political show, though? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Thank um, you. That's I, what I do for a living. Stephen, <laughs> that was a fantastic question. Um, I actually, it's funny. I think it's more about actually office politics. You know, it's like these people are kind of positioning themselves to get ahead, spinning stories to get them attention. You know, how close can you get to the popular kids so you can get power? All that stuff. They're terrible fun. people. Oh, they're atrocious people. <laughs> Which is why it seems accurate to me. Have you yeah. spent a lot of time in Washington, D.C.? We, we, yeah, we, we would shoot some stuff in D.C., but before we started the show, we got a chance to kind of meet people that kind of did our jobs. And oh, I met, met a, a body man? I met a body man. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> who, did, who did you meet? Uh, I can't say. Was it Reggie Love? It wasn't Reggie Love, no. But um, Was I it did, Reggie I Love, did, or is that the name you no. can't say, so you have to say it's not <laughs> no. Reggie Love? No, it was not Reggie. I did meet him later, but when we were kind of learning, and previously I met another guy who was a body man to a politician, and, you know, he did it in his 20s, and he had no life, and it was just like he never saw his family, his friends, and then he kind of moved on to other stuff. My character has done it into his 40s because <laughs> he has no identity outside of Selena Meyer, worships her. She's Jesus to him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Yeah. Did you hear the, the senator out here talking about uh, being a Jesuit missionary earlier? Yes, I did. Yeah. I did, yeah. I did. And you yeah. guys did like a Bible game. A little bit, yeah. We yeah. we uh, we flip some Philippians on each other. I can I can flip some Philippians out. You got some Philippians? Philippians 4:13. I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. <laughs> Philippians. Oh wait. Philippians 4:6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ. Bam! Bam! You actually didn't you start when you were you were you were an actor in New York first I was originally, an actor in New York, yeah. and you started like something called the Haven, which was like a oh, place for like Christians and show business to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> why did you? Isn't that called a church? Why did you? <laughs> why did you think you had to make like a place called the Haven for Christians and we show business? We were our own church. No, I uh, I had met actually a lot of people whose faith was important to them, and they were artists, and they maybe weren't necessarily supported by the church what they did. Mm -hmm. So we just get together and see each other's work and encourage each other and do just hang out. It was mainly a reason to get friends. <laughs> I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah? Was yeah. it dating? Did you guys date or anything? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I met my wife there. Really? Yeah. She, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. She was a She was a makeup artist on Saturday Night Live at the time. Did you enjoy doing that meltdown as, as Gary? I did. Thank, thank you for asking. Good question, Stephen. <laughs> um, is that a long time coming? Because your, yes. your character, and a couple of characters you played, really do seem on the verge of a breakdown almost yeah, all the time. Yeah, um, uh, and emasculated. And emasculated? And emasculated. Oh, wow. I do emasculation really well. Um, <laughs> but um, I, uh, yeah, because my character is so beaten down, and he also worships the ground that Selena Meyer walks on, mm -hmm. and he just watches these idiots around her just make mistake after mistake. Because in Gary's eyes, I mean, in reality, the character is an awful person, but in my character's eyes, I don't understand why they're not just handing her the presidency. She's the obvious choice. So he's just seen these people make mistake after mistake, and he just, when she didn't get the presidency, he just lost it. He lost do, it. Do you, when you're doing the show, some of it's improvised, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we can't, because we, you know, very rare to television, they give us like two weeks before we shoot to rehearse, and they give us like five scripts, and we can kind of play around and see what gels. And the writers work incredibly hard on the scripts. But then they give us time to play. Mm -hmm. But when we're on set, when it's locked, they also give us time to kind of find, like if Julie and I are together, it's like physicality. Like if you drop your purse, I'll catch it here. So we can still play with what we have. And do you, do you ever have to like check uh, sort of like the, the initiations you're making or the impulses you have for something the character to say when you're sort of developing in the development period of the script? 
so that people don't know which party she's in? Because you oh. can't tell whether she's a Democrat or a Republican by watching the show. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot, yeah, because they, want, they wanted to keep it to where you wouldn't know. Um, but we've got a lot of people on set, not a lot, but they've got a lot of political consultants that help us kind of, yeah, if you go that direction, it's going to definitely veer that way, so you might want to watch that. And Frank Rich is a producer on the show, and he's a big uh, political journalist, and, and he was just a, he's a great resource for the show. Um, well, the show's incredible. Thank you. Thanks so much. much for coming Thank on. You. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. So Thanks nice to for playing you. with us. Thank you. Thank you. You can watch Veep on HBO. Tony Hale, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you.